Terrorism Task Force and Sebastian Gorka. He's an FBI counterterrorism expert and chairman of the Threat Knowledge Group. Uh, Sebastian, let me start with you. Uh, terrorism, uh, uh, fear here at home, Disney changing your policies. Is this going to be the new normal? Do we have to live with this as Americans now, just sort of, you know, metal detectors at theme parks? Yes, this is the new normal. Uh, the president simply wants to concentrate on things such as global warming or climate change. And we've had almost 90 ISIS suspects, not Al Qaeda, ISIS suspects arrested or killed in the United States in the last two years. We've had the attack in San Bernardino. We've had the Boston bombing. We've had all kinds of events that really shape our new reality. This isn't about something happening 8,000 miles away in Syria or Iraq or, or something happening just 5,000 miles away in Paris. This is here in America. The jihad has arrived and everybody is part of the front line of the defense. So it's, you know, it may be, it may be irksome for the commander in chief that global warming is not the priority of the Republican Party or the average American, but I don't think it needs to be when you look at the fact that the deaths are happening here on U.S. soil. Real quick, Sebastian, this 90 number that you threw out, uh, it's a shocking number to me, and I don't think it's something that's well known. Is this something that we should talk about to the American public, that they know we're thwarting these things, or would it make things worse? Well, uh, all your viewers can check it out at threatknowledge.org. We have the report. It's unclassified. We've, we've collected all the data. We've had these 80-plus arrests. And just one statistic that your viewers need to be aware of. Uh, half of those people wanted to go and fight in Syria right. and Iraq as jihadis. But a full 30 percent, a third of those we've intercepted, had decided the best way to be a jihadi was to kill Americans here in America. So that's just the facts of of the matter, that, whether or not the commander in chief likes it. Steve, uh, you know, President Obama, you know, making this claim about the GOP. The fact of the matter is, is throughout Western Europe, uh, even in, in, in Eastern parts, like uh, like uh, I saw a march, I think it was in Poland, a record breaking march, there is a pushback. Uh, 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 terrorism is the number one issue there as well. Look, Charles, uh, quoting the president, quote, the American Republican Party, unquote, happens to be the only party that wants to protect the American people from terrorism, not from weather. And uh, that, that's what he's got to get straight in his head. Look, terrorism's growing. We see it here in the homeland. And the president has done a lot to disarm the police, disarm the military, disarm the NSA. What else? What's next? Before I let you go, Steve, uh, percentage-wise, between over the next six months, the likelihood of, a, of another attack? I'm confident in the FBI. I'm confident in our military intelligence agencies. I think the likelihood is low as it has been. We got a great country, great intelligence agencies. We're well protected. Sebastian, if you can just tell me a percentage chance of, the net, of, a, of a something happening. More than 50 percent. They wow. want to kill us, right. and the jihad is already here. Let's leave it there. Thank you, guys, both. Well, in the aftermath of the San Bernardino terror attacks, federal authorities have stepped up their counterterrorism efforts, uh, apprehending ISIS sympathizers. They've been doing a lot. A lot of people have been gathered up here left and right in the United States. Uh, but the private sector also getting involved. The world's uh, most magical place, Disney World, now in high alert. They're taking all kinds of extra precautions there. Uh, the theme parks going as far as to even discontinue selling squirt guns, of all things. Uh, but according to a new Fox News poll, 75% of Americans feel the United States has failed to pursue uh, potential terrorists aggressively here at home. That's up from 60% in 2007. The terror here in America, the new norm, I think it is. Joining me now, Jillian Melcher, National Review reporter, and back with us, Steve Rogers and Sebastian Gorka. Uh, Jillian, you know, it's, it, you don't really want to live like that. We know how Israel has existed for a long time. I, know, I can remember going to Europe a long time ago and landing at the airport and seeing, you know, soldiers with machine yeah. guns. Is that our new normal? Well, I don't think it's the new normal, but it is certainly part of a disturbing trend. I mean, in the last year, we saw the most domestic terrorists arrested um, since September 11th. Uh, I believe it's 71 between December 2014 and or March 2014 and last December. So this is a disturbing trend. It's homegrown terrorism. It's a lot of guys, but also some women in there, too. Average age around 26. And I think as social media becomes more of a factor in terrorism, that lone wolf homegrown threat is only going to grow. You know, Steve, it's it's uh, it's the homegrown thing. It's the you know people coming over here from different places. 
But uh, it, it just feels like I, I know it's something we've got to live with right now, but I don't want to see it. I don't want to say, yeah, succumb to the idea. This is how it must be. I think we destroy ISIS. Then we, we don't have to we go back to the way we used to live at the moment. And I want to emphasize at the moment, the new norm is being on a ship without a rudder and a country without a real leader who's committed to destroy ISIS. But, Charles, that's going to change. Uh, I, I think down the road after the presidential election, you're going to find a military strategy, a domestic strategy, a homeland security strategy, all working in unison to defeat terrorism. That is exactly what I believe is going to happen. You know, Sebastian, I find it really interesting in this new Fox News poll out just moments ago, uh, when asked about banning Muslims, uh, the, the Tr Donald Trump Muslim ban, uh, and uh, almost, almost, well, 50 percent say, yeah, they're, they're for it. But if you take his name off of this, the, the, the amount of people who are in favor of it from the Democratic side explodes. I mean, this is something that resonates across the aisle, across political ideologies, along with background checks. I want you to look at this. Background checks. The question was asked, not running background checks. Is it crazy uh, or not? Look at this. It's just crazy. 63% say the government not looking at these social media pages with the uh, part of the background checks is just simply crazy. The other 32% might be crazy for not voting that way also. So, Sebastian, it feels like the public wants it. The public wants the extra, extra effort to make this, to make this go away. Yes, I think Americans are afraid. They're scared and they have every right to be. I don't know if you've seen the photographs from inside the Christmas party in San Bernardino. That happened on U.S. soil, not in Mogadishu. That happened here. And people are right. They, they know that there's a common sense response to this. In the report I mentioned previously, we found that 50 percent of the people we've arrested or killed in America as ISIS suspects announced ahead of time their sympathy to jihad, to ISIS, on the Internet. Not on private chat rooms, but on their Facebook pages, on their Twitter feeds. We need to be catching these people before they go right. kinetic to stop the next San Bernardino. You know, uh, Jillian, that gets back. The president said, say, see something, say something today, yeah. but no one really believes that's how he feels, particularly when you have his attorney general saying to Muslims, hey, if you feel like you're getting uh, abused, let us know, uh, you know. Yeah. But, but having said that, there are signs. You know, people know that the, the co-worker becomes irritated. They, you know, there's certain things they do. They grow the beards. They start doing things. Is it time for us to become sort of uh, citizen police officers or, you know, we all step up and do our duty? Well, I think this is certainly one area where political correctness has hurt us. I mean, if you look at what happened, the backlash to Clock Boy, um, that's see something, say something, yet those people were completely vilified for it. So I think, you know, Americans are rightly hesitant to say something, well, and that's going to hurt our security. Yeah, they better change. All right, guys, thanks a lot.